Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. God has richly blessed us, and I'm just so thankful today for His goodness and mercy that He bestows upon us every day. You know, I wake up and uh, just lay there for a few moments, and I just think about the goodness of God. And I walk outside, and I look around, and I see His blessings in everything around me. And uh, I am just so grateful for the goodness of God and His mercy and grace that, uh, that He just shows to us every day. This is the day 16th of Advent, and we're going to be in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 12, 13, and 14. And this is where the angels are talking to the shepherds in the field. And he says, And this shall, will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace good will toward men what we see here in these three verses are the the angels have come to the shepherds and on day uh, 15 we talked about how in that day and time the shepherds were considered uh, uh, for a lack of a better word and don't mean nothing bad by at the bottom of a totem pole people look down upon them uh, because of their job and and sheep stink and and they had to deal with Gentiles and the Jews didn't like that so but God chose to come to them. And, and the angel gave them some information. And then all of a sudden the Bible says uh, the heavenly host of angels joined the one that had come and laid and gave them this message. And, and look at this message. There's three things we want to look at here. It says glory to God in the highest. That's a praise unto God, the glory of God, his awesomeness and that he is upon a throne in heaven. It says glory to God in the highest. The second thing we want to look at is the next thing that says, and on earth peace. And that was the will of God that men would live peacefully. But sin, we know, has got into the mix. It's got into the picture. And sin is what causes the problems upon this earth today. Men, whether they want to admit it or not, they're not living serving God. They're serving the devil. And they're making themselves available to the devil. And he, he goes around disrupting discord and causing problems between family members, between church members, between pastors and members. He's doing everything he can to disrupt the life that we have here on earth. It's not what God intended, but when Satan entered the picture, he began that point of taking problems and putting them between us today. And then the last one is a song of purpose, goodwill toward men. God he loves us today, and when Jesus Christ came, he removed the barriers that were between us and God. No longer did we have a veil where the high priest went behind, but the Bible says we can come boldly to the throne room of grace. We can boldly enter before the presence of God and cry out to him and, and lift up our voices with the needs and problems and petitions that we have in our life, and I'm so thankful for that. So when you think about this or you read this again, look at what it said down there in their message to the, the, the shepherds, as they were singing, it says, Glory to God in the highest, lifting God up and praising Him, and on earth peace, desiring peace among all men, and goodwill toward men, that men today would love each other. What an awesome message that is today for day 16. God, thank you today for the angels who came with that message about your awesome birth happening there in Bethlehem. Thank you today, God, for coming to live and to die that we may have forgiveness of our sins. And Lord, we praise you today in Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.